Good morning, dear colleagues. In this paper, I would like uh, to give brief answers on the following questions. How, from the point of view of an unprepared spectator, should uh, an archaeological artifact look like, and what was the basis on this perception? What gaps the spectator attention when visiting a stone artifacts exhibition? Third, in the light of the foregoing, how to create an interesting stone artifact exhibition in order to promote archaeology? During my university internship at the holding of a Hermitage Museum, I heard from one of the museum workers that archaeological artifacts attract, attract very little attention among museum visitors. Those words about the attractiveness uh, lingered in my mind. Over time, I realized that the problem lies not uh, in the artifact themselves, but in the way uh, that are displayed in exhibition. In other words, <coughs> There are not the archaeological artifacts which are not attractive, but the archaeological exhibitions. I ask my, myself what was so amazing about archaeology that made me choose these fields and professions. That is how my fellow colleagues and I came up with an idea for an, an exhibition that would have spectators see artifacts the way a child sees them full of mystery, ancient and beautiful. So, we decided to organize an exhibition of archaeological artifacts. We choose stone artifacts for several reasons. First of all, due to the, uh, to, to the fact that the Stone Age tools uh, are exhibited rather poorly compared to the artifacts from other archaeological periods. We also wanted to spark the interest of the audience in ordinary artifacts, which are not considered as pieces of art, which speak for themselves. <clears throat> Before we go into details, I want to specify that initially I was planning to present this project as poster. Uh, well. So, today, the, present, the presentation should be considered as an empirical observation, is not full-scale scientific research. So, how uh, an ordinary person, non-professional, imagines an archaeological artifact? If we type in search box the word artifacts in Russian or archaeological artifacts, this notion means usually the same uh, in uh, layman terms. The first picture we got uh, will uh, look like this or this, <laughs> or this. Uh, the, the very specific term of uh, artifacts in archaeology. It is uh, defined as any material object made of uh, changes by ancient human. Where, where is, uh, for an ordinary person, an artifact is something supernatural, the function of which we often do not know. Besides, it uh, might be object coming from other civilization, space, like this. You can see all this in this picture. This link between archaeology, uh, archaeology and space uh, is um, immediate in the thinking of an ordinary visitor. We will uh, talk about the uh, nature of this phenomenon later. From one hand, this uh, perception is based on a limited understanding of what an archaeologist's job involves. From another hand, it is uh, determined, uh, determined uh, by the information from films, TV programs, computer and board games. We uh, created a short questionnaire in which a uh, uh, participant uh, needed to draw an archaeological artifact the way he imagines it uh, and also say what association he with archaeology, uh, what films and games pop up in mind when they thinking of, about archaeologists. Here are some uh, representative pictures we got. Uh, different type of pictures. This, um, uh, we must admit, this is not a social uh, survey, but just a short uh, observation. Uh, we can see the connection between uh, an archaeological artifacts and quite a this popularity fiction literature, uh, two, uh, three uh, magic wand like a Gandalf head, <laughs> between space objects. And uh, another uh, objects, um, uh, dinosaurs, of course, 
uh, we decide uh, to see why the audience makes such a, 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 a con connection. The link between space and artifact is clear. Uh, a keywords uh, in the question area. <laughs> Mm. This perception is based on popular board game, non-fiction novels, or Indiana Jones film Head Aliens. The crystal skull is an artifact from another planet. Uh, if we speak uh, about artifacts as powerful magical uh, objects from fantasy culture, we must blame filmers and game equally. Uh, for example, in the game World of Warcraft, played by more than 100 million people and being played by nearly 10 million people right now, there is a specific field of discipline, archaeology. One can take level an instrument and search for artifacts. We have to add the such games. It's not activity for children, but pastime for millions of adult games in the world. Uh, we should understand, uh, understand the influence those games have one people's perception of archaeology. This all adds uh, to uh, up to the uh, misconception of what archaeologists do. This observation is important to understand the principle of which our exhibition based. So, we can see... <laughs> yeah, between the expectation of underprepared visitor and the reality. Does that mean that we need to transform archaeological exhibitions into entertainment venue? Absolutely not. At the same time, we will take into account the specific way of archaeological artifacts perception based on socio-cultural uh, environment. Um, some example of academic exhibition in uh, Hermitage in St. Petersburg Museum or a modern exhibition in uh, Zaraisk, it's town near East Moscow. It's uh, problem, it's not in Russian Museum, in Crete, uh, Heraklion Museum. Stone Age exhibition, very small. Uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, <laughs> now, having this image of an ideal archaeological artifact, we should determine, uh, determine what gaps the attention of our unprepared visitor at Stone Age Tools exhibition. So, we will talk about form uh, uh, and color. Uh, dealing with the form of objects, the matter is quite ob obvious. As for the um, texture and color, we should go into details here. When uh, preparing an exhibition, we use the color criterion is one of the main characteristics. Willing to show the great diversity, the painters from our teams, uh, painters, artists, uh, our team choose artifacts of different colors. We need to um, previous uh, the different colors and the uh, materials were of uh, great importance in the previous centuries. Uh, Kirkan Oprost in his PhD, The Stone Age of Northern East Europe, uh, points out the importance of color uh, and uh, texture and, and different material but ancient inhabitants themselves when talking about the human additional changes in during Neolithization period. Mm. Uh, that is why the color of artifacts is ex extremely important for spectators as well as for a new Stone Age hunter. What else attracts uh, visitor attention? As we remember, one of the main characteristics of artifacts for visitors is uniqueness. uniqueness. Uh, based on a uh, conclusion, we decide to take only a few artifacts and put them separate pedestals instead of uh, filling up many exhibits in showcase. This uh, way we will able um, <clears throat> to show the uniqueness. Each pedestal is made separately in uh, accordance with the color, form, function and place uh, where artifact um, was found. For example, 
For example, this pedestal pre uh, represents a split log above which the stone has fixed on a transparent fixing system. We also put light bulbs inside the log so that will be pale light coming from the cracks. That pedestal represents the function of artifacts. This axe used to split the logs and it indicates the place where it is found uh, in uh, the woods of uh, Denmark. This process of creation uh, pedestals. Besides, if we e examine uh, through the pictures from the internet, which so called artifacts, we will see this trend in putting them on pedestal or other such objects. The main purpose of this to make them even more impressive. We decided to follow this idea and made the pedestals higher. This method, uh, the variation of uh, side angle, when the spectators look from the bottom upwards, is uh, widely used in cinema to show a uh, dramatic moment on uh, decisive action. One of the main elements of the exhibition is uh, the light, uh, light uh, design. Uh, demand light together with uh, cold colors create ghostly atmosphere underlying the mystery of ancient stone artifacts. Due to these elements, the visitor is already prepared to his uh, visit, will be more willing to learn the scientific information displayed at the exhibition. So, and visitor will be interested in learn more about this magnificent and important artifacts, as well as the scientific approach itself. Now, let's speak about the exhibition project. I would like to pursue once again, that is uh, just blueprint and uh, the project is under de development at the moment. The artifacts that are going to be uh, displayed from uh, Kunst camera uh, in the center of uh, first hall, in a dimmed uh, light, we can see a, replica, uh, a stone uh, artifact, um, hand axe, using a model of uh, magnetic levitation. We have uh, an artifact flying several uh, above the pedestal. Uh, the, um, the spectators full attention to the object this process of creation artifacts um, along the entire perimeter of the first hall uh, this co corridor where additional information of artifact is displayed here we can uh, here we can learn more about the place where they uh, were found at the stages of the field work of archaeologists and the uh, second hall uh, uh, there will be animated film about the development of human and the dyna dynamics of the flipper tools shape change in accordance with different periods. Uh, in the third hall, we will bestow an artifact from across uh, the globe, Denmark, Egypt, the Volga region, Siberia. Uh, they will be um, as, uh, as stylized as stylized map uh, made by lead on the floor. The pedestals we, uh, will be placed on the map according to the place from which artifacts come. As for, uh, the fourth hall will show the con connection between ancient people and modern society. Uh, and the uh, fifth hall is uh, dedicated to history of collection. Um, in conclusion, so trying to save the aesthetical background Corresponding, uh, corresponding the visitor's perception on archaeological exhibition, we will uh, strive, strive to deliver scientific knowledge uh, of uh, great quality. Thank you for your attention. Mm. Thank you.